today. I look like a bag of sack of poopy, but um, I'm impulsively filming this on my phone because I, in, in true ADHD chaos fashion, I am filming this at four o'clock on a Thursday. Usually I upload on Fridays. So I'm literally doing this in less than one day. <laughs> doing something easy, doing something that like I could do in a few hours, like drawing something, do that, draw something nice, film it, upload it, easy editing, you know, easy, easy stuff. But no, I can't get this idea out of my head and it just keeps probing my brain so I have to do it, I, like the impulse is too strong, I have to do it. It's okay, I'm not driving anywhere crazy right now, I'm just in my neighborhood, so it's not like I'm speeding down a road and being super distracted. I'm running to Target right now to get the last things that I will need for this, and I think we're just gonna do a doll face up in less than one day, because <laughs> it's half of the day's already gone. Hopefully this doesn't screw me over and then I get really frustrated and then I want to give up and then I don't have anything. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, so I know that that <laughs> was chaotic. Let me tell you my plan. I'm planning on taking a Bratz doll and an LOL doll and <laughs> smashing them together to make Fran fine. <laughs> Editing Savannah here. I I don't know, I just assumed that everybody would probably know who The Nanny is, but just in case you don't, The Nanny is a show that aired in the 90s and it was about a nanny and basically like her shenanigans that she would get into and she's just a very big goofy character, big personality, uh, very well known for her laugh and her hair and her outfits. If you haven't watched it, you definitely should because it's really good. So. That's who the nanny is. The nanny is played by Fran Drescher and she's her name is Fran Fine in the show. I was standing in Target with my husband and I, I don't know, it just hit me when I was looking at some of them. I was like, this kind of looks like the nanny. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I should make a nanny doll. This video actually, I think what I'm gonna be doing is more of like, just the face up and the hair. I don't really have time to do like an outfit and everything. I'm just gonna go off of like the outfit that I have from the dolls and then maybe some pieces that I have from other dolls. So the outfit's not gonna be perfect. We're doing this in like literally a day. <laughs> it's just gonna be her face up and her hair. So I think that's the plan. So we're just gonna jump over. I got my supplies. After using that steamer at Rachel's, I was like, oh, this is a really good way to curl hair. So I went out and got my own steamer. So I'm gonna try to do that on the doll, on the brat's head. Cause I'm gonna take the brat's head and put it on the LOL doll because they got that body. I think that's gonna be my plan and I'm hoping it turns out, I don't know, this is all kind of like <laughs> chaotic and we're doing this in literally less than a day, but um, I hope you still like it and I hope it's still fun and I hope it turns out nice, so we'll see. So what we're gonna do, don't mind this cut, I tried it on her. This is originally a Bratz one and I put it on her because I wanted to see if it would fit, but what we're gonna do is swap the heads. So I'm gonna take this head off and put it on this body because I like these faces better than these faces. To be honest, I really hate these faces, <laughs> but their body is banging. Like they got a they got a body yada yada. So I wanna swap her head and put it on hers. I have no idea if it'll fit. It looks like it fits when I'm like eyeballing it. So yeah, I don't know if I just have to like pop it off, but I wanna at least take off her clothes. She got that body. 
think I could probably just like probably should look up how to do this because <laughs> I don't think these pop off very easily. Okay, I'm glad I didn't just force this off. I did a quick Google search and apparently these neck pegs are pretty uh, delicate, so I have to heat it up first. So I'm just gonna use a hairdryer and heat up the connection and hope the heads pop off. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's being a doll. Oh, it worked. Oh my gosh, it looks really cute actually. Skin tone's a little off, but that's okay. Now we are going to remove her face. So the next thing I think I'm gonna do is, uh, Fran has like very poofy hair and it's like swept back but then poofy. So, sorry, someone's walking their dogs outside so my dogs are very mad about it. I'm gonna take out, take out her hair, the style, take out the, take out the hairstyle, curl the whole thing and then restyle it. I got some paper straws so I just cut them in half and then wrapped the hair around it and steamed it. I actually ended up doing this twice because I felt like the first time I wrapped it the curls just weren't tight enough and once they were kind of curly it was a little easier to wrap them again and then I could make tighter curls. I just kind of pinned them into her head. <laughs> I got some nice curls out of this. They weren't as tight as I wanted them to be, but that's okay. I brushed them out to separate the curls and make it more frizzy because her hair is kind of frizzy. And then I also sat and tried to style it in the way that Fran does, but the more I messed around with her hair, the more I didn't like it and the more I realized the color was off and it was just too light brown and it just, it wasn't doing it for me and I didn't like the texture and I, there was just a lot that I didn't like about it and the main issue that it came down to was the color. It was just way too light. I think this hair is too light. I think I'm gonna have to chop it all off and I think I'm gonna use black. So that's what I did. I gave her a hack job. <laughs> Chopped off all of her hair after doing the curls and everything, but that's fine because while I did that, I put down a layer of Mr. Super Clear and I decided since her hair was short and it wasn't gonna get in the way, I was just gonna start her face up. So I went in with some very sharp watercolor pencils and started sketching out how I wanted her face to look. Side note, I think I've done enough of these doll face-ups now where I kind of want to upgrade all of my materials. So I think maybe whatever next face-up I do, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to get some good watercolor pencils and definitely some good soft pastels and also just like look into more supplies that like professional face-up people use. Not saying that my stuff is professional because it definitely isn't, but I think it's time. I think it's time. I think it's time for me to move on from dirty hands and stuff that I got at Joann's and having her head supported by my little makeup compact. <laughs> hey. <laughs>
then I go in with my gouache paints and start painting her eyelids. I had a reference of what Fran looked like, what her makeup looked like, so she kind of did a heavy lash and a smoky eye but lighter lids and kind of a defined crease line. I just added in the whites and yeah, just painted the rest of her eyes. So there's a lot of thing that sucks about being a lefty <laughs> and ever since I started YouTube I just add one more thing to my list and that is that my hand always blocks what I'm doing all the time because of the way that I hold my pencil and the way that I do everything because I'm a lefty. I'm very sorry. I try my best. I just block everything that I'm doing all the time with either my hand or my head or my camera is blurry. I don't know how these other people with top-down stuff like manage to get such nice stuff because everything blocks it all the time added some sketchy cheek lines and some sketchy lines around her eyes because I did it with Dolly and I kind of liked it and I thought maybe I would try it on this one too. I'm not sure how I feel about it and I feel like I prefer a smoother finish than like seeing the actual marks that I've made. I don't know. I'm still trying to find my style when it comes to face ups. So this is the finished face up and I'm just going to add a high gloss varnish to the eyes and mouth.
I am going to add this black hair that I have. Actually, a follower sent this to me. and She sent me a pack of like vintage doll hair, which I've used multiple times now, and this was actually really handy, and I'm gonna be really sad when all of this runs out because I have it in a bunch of different colors and it has saved my butt many, many times. <laughs> but yeah, I liked this one too because it's already curly. So all I had to do was just glue it on top and shape it into the way that I wanted it to be. I did not have time to like heat the head and pull out all of the little plugs of her hair. So I just glued it on top. <laughs> And that's the finished hair. Don't mind all of the little spider webbies from the glue gun. Here's a reference of Fran's hair and the doll's hair and I think it turned out pretty good. Lastly, I wanted to just unbox these little doodads that come with the doll, like some glasses, a purse that's also a phone, as well as a belt and some really cute little pearl earrings that I think work great with her. After we added all of her little embellishments, it's time for those glamour shots. happy with how she turned out. I think she is actually pretty cute. Obviously there's certain things that I think I would want to change in the future, but overall I think it still has her essence and her vibe. The face mold itself is kind of weird because I feel like at certain angles her face looks really weird, and then from other angles she looks really cute. I also wanted to give her tights. And initially I was gonna paint them on or like I use like soft pastels or something to mimic like tights on her, but I opted to not do that. And actually, as I was editing this video, I did end up buying some doll clothes that I felt like had more of a Fran vibe that I am going to put her in later. And one of those pieces of clothing were tights. I'm also on the fence on how like the sketchy lines of her face up. I still don't know if I like it or not. Let me know in the comments below if you like it and let me know if you think I did it. Let me know if you think it looks like Fran. I'm excited to keep growing my face up abilities, I guess I could say, and like make more dolls. I think that they're really fun to do. Anyway, let me know what you think about how this went in the comments below. And don't forget that I have a monthly sticker club that you can subscribe to. I send out new stickers every single month. The link will be in the box below. Let me know if there's another type of doll you want me to do. I don't know if there's another character you want me to do. Okay, that's it, goodbye.